Do you want to get started with Minecraft Bedrock development? Well, you come to the right place. Today, in this beginner video, the first one of this series, you're going to learn the necessary file structure for development of texture packs and behavior pack add-ons in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and as well as some software that you can use to edit the JSON files and some extensions that might help with add-on development. So, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is locate the com.mojang folder. And this is going to be the folder that you use for all of this development stuff. It's really important. But it is kind of buried away, but there's an easy way to find it. What you want to do is use the Windows key and R keyboard shortcut. That's going to open the run window. And then you're going to want to type in a really long string of text like this. And of course, I'm going to put that down in the description. So feel free to pause the video, grab that text, copy and paste into the run dialog to open this window right here. Okay, so now that you have the com.mojang folder, take a look at these folders in here. Behavior packs is where any installed behavior packs are going to be. Um, and, and same as resource packs. And Minecraft Worlds is actually all of the worlds that are currently generated in this version of Minecraft that you have downloaded. If you had a fresh install, none of these are really going to have anything in them, but don't worry about that. And of course, we're going to be checking out these folders in future videos. But for now, just keep in mind that you're going to be working in the development folders, just like these ones, the development behavior packs and the development resource packs. Video two in the series, we're going to be going over texture packs that's going to be in this folder right here. And I would recommend that you make a shortcut to this folder. So in order to do that, you can go up one folder, so you're looking at com.mojang. You can right click on that, do show more options, and then create shortcut. Of course, if you're a keyboard user, you're going alt up to go a folder, hit shift F10 on that, and then you can hit S three times to go to create shortcut, hit enter, and you'll be good to go. Control D to delete. Nonetheless, now you have a shortcut, so you can copy this and put it on your desktop for easy access. Or in the, when we start setting up this development environment, you can also put a shortcut to this in your programming and file related folders so that you can easily access it. Another easy way to keep track of this is to click to right click and then pin to start or pin to quick access, which is over here on the left. So if you pin to quick access, now you have com.mojang available in this little folder on the side. And of course, if you can't see that, there is also a way to go to view and show and click navigation pane. Of course, I am on Windows 11, but I mean, this stuff is relatively easy to figure out. It's pretty much the same in Windows 10. So now that you know how to get here, Keep in mind too that these development folders are updated every time that Minecraft launches so that you can quickly test updates to your packs. It makes it really easy. That's why we use the development folders instead of the regular folders until the end of the process where you package these up for distribution. As far as software, I'm going to go ahead and recommend that you get Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is made by Microsoft, and of course it's their recommended software for dealing with Minecraft Bedrock development because they share the same producer. Microsoft also makes Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and they have their own documentation for both of these. The good news is, once you download Visual Studio Code, which there is also an installation link down there to take you to the page to get the software in the description, you can go to the sidebar here and hit Extensions. And in these extensions, you're going to want to search for Blockception. And you'll find Blockception's Minecraft Bedrock Development. Now, this thing is going to be awesome. For now, I'm not going to cover too much, but just as you can see right here in the description, it's going to cover function files, JSON, and Molang, and it features completion, validations, formatters, diagnostics, code actions, generation of files, and a bunch of development tools to help you make Bedrock add-ons for anything that you want to do. So you can take a look at what it does here and try to become a little bit more familiar with it, but I am going to be covering this in a future video in this development series as well. So for now, go ahead and click install up here, get that put in, and then also you're going to want to find bedrock definitions. That one will look like this, and it also just has more helpful things. Uh, the go-to bedrock definitions and autocomplete for Visual Studio Code that will take you, you can hit F12, uh, to go to the definition file and it's going to become 
super, super handy once you start getting into the more advanced aspects of development. Of course, if you're just looking to make a texture pack, then you're not really going to be doing a lot of coding, and you may not even need Visual Studio Code, and in that case, you can go ahead and jump to video two right here. And actually, I'll see you over there.